a John Deere Z915E. This is a 60 inch mower that the people at AgPro and Kohler put together for me to demo. Um, it's been a really great mower for the small amount of time that we used it. We only got to use it for about 10 hours. It uh, doesn't have a mulch kit on it, but the people at AgPro were really generous and they said they'd put a mulch kit on it, but it was kind of like at the point where you know, it was near the end of the return anyway, because I only had it for a few weeks. This isn't going to be a full review because I can't review a mower after 10 hours or just having it for a few weeks. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what I think about this mower. This is just my overall feeling, impression, first dance with the mower. We'll, we'll call it that. This is our first dance with the mower. Um, hopefully I can get this thing back, you know, for a little bit longer time, but I'm just gonna jump into some things that I like and there are some things I don't like and that's on every machine, I don't care what it is. So things I like, I'm gonna start off right away, talk about the things that I do like. This isn't very accurate, but I like the idea of the deck leveling system right there for a couple of reasons. So we have this big 66 acre condo that we do. Every two or three yards, we're changing the deck level. It's ridiculous, I can't stand it. Um, but I tell you this concept, like the wheel concept on the Gravely Pro Stances, um, and the Gravely mowers, I, I love this concept with that quick on-demand change right there at your fingertips. You're not having to lean over pull pins or anything like that. That part's great. Um, so, but I, what I did find, I'll get into it, is that it's not really, you know, you don't feel really confident in that um, when it comes to the deck height sometimes. So um, other things I really like about the mower is, you know, at first I didn't like it, but I ended up really um, kind of getting into it is when you're sitting down on the mower, you got to really, it feels like you're sitting up in like a semi or a lifted truck. You have a really, really high sense of point of view when you're sitting on top of this thing. Um, you feel like you're like at the front of the mower when you're mowing. And I really like that a lot. I think that part's great. It definitely is built like a tank um, as far as uh, the way it feels when it's mowing. Um, Whenever I'm taking hills and things like that, I've, I've taken a few hills and it definitely one thing I've always actually said about John Deere is that when it comes to handling hills, it's got a really good center of gravity. The weight distribution seems to be on point when it comes to taking hillsides. It's it's they've all all the models that I've ever been on about four different models have always done really, really good with taking the hills. Um, of course, the fuel gauge being on top right here. Y'all know I'm always a big fan of being able to see how much fuel you got. Um, so overall, like I said, as a first dance with this machine, um, I did enjoy the dance. I did enjoy the dance. Um, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to get into some things that I don't like about it. But it was, it was really powerful. If you guys saw the, the video where we're mowing the field, I was honestly surprised. Like I told the guys at Kohler, I wasn't really sure about this 25 horsepower um, dual barrel that they have on here. And uh, it was actually, it came through and this thing was ridiculously powerful. So as far as the motor goes, it's a 25 horsepower Kohler that is pushing this thing. And for a 60 inch, you know, sit down heavy machine, I wasn't sure how that Kohler was going to perform. Um, I got into some thick stuff. You guys saw it, it did really well. There's a lot of mowers out there and engine and mower combos that do really well. But this particular combo, that 25 horsepower dual barrel carb, um, Kohler engine on this 60 inch 915E um, is a really great combination. And I was, I'd be really confident to say with a mulch kit on here, mowing the thickest of St. Augustine grass, it, um, I'd have no doubts that it would do its job. So overall, um, the, the machine feels very strong when you're on it. Um, and it doesn't really seem like much is going to stop it when it's mowing. The engine had a lot of power. Uh, like I said, I, I like the concept of the, the quick deck change and everything. Um, I do like how the emergency brake, whether the arms are in and out, um, you know, it's not going to shut off on you. You know how tedious that can get. So it's all about the emergency brake on or off. Um, l lowering or li lifting the deck is really great. You know, right there, it's, it feels pretty effortless um, with the foot pedal. Um, you do have a cup holder and another, you know, m miscellaneous holder. I'm not really wild about a cup holder being on top of the deck because dirt and dust and everything gets on it. I'm, I like them when they're up on the gas tanks, but at least it's there. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about a few things that I don't like about the mower and I was honestly surprised about the mower. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to save the best for last, which is right up underneath the right side here for what I am surprised and do not like about the mower. So let's go, let's jump on here first with the, you know, the deck leveling system. 
The concept is really great. It really is. I'm going to give it to him. The concept is phenomenal. Love it, love it, love it. The problem that I had is, oh, the PTO switch is on the like list. I like the PTO, that push back and forth instead of lifting up and down. I like that. But the problem that I have with this is there's so much play in it, I don't really feel super confident of exactly where that deck is at. Um, while I'm mowing, I found myself having to check a couple of times to make sure that I am in the right spot and that I'm on the right height. A couple of times I wasn't because it kind of slipped back down. Uh, I'm not sure, I, I assume that's like a cable or something, uh, but I'm not, a, I'm not a fan on not feeling super confident about it. Um, I didn't like that I didn't feel that way. I love the idea and the lock and unlock on the deck is pretty cool too. Um, but there are some disadvantages with that part. I like I like being able to just to push the foot pedal, locking the deck, and you know you just got to get used to using that to lock. Sorry, using that to lock the um, to lock the deck whenever you want to lift the deck up and lock it. That's where you lock it right there. You don't just do it with a foot pedal. It's foot pedal in combination with that right there. Cup holder is awesome. That's not a make or break on a mower. If it has one, cool. If it doesn't have one, I could care less. But if it does have one, I don't like it being on the deck where all the dirt flies up and gets up in your cup. You know what I'm saying? But that's not really, I'm not digging them for that whatsoever. Um, other thing I do not like that actually became extremely uncomfortable, maybe it's because I just don't have, you know, like monster, monster hands. Um, but the size of the, um, the hydro grips, I do, the arms, I do not like it. They're, they're, it's just way, way too big, man. This is probably one and a half inches in diameter, um, with, with the grip on here. And, and I just, I didn't personally care for it. I like the smaller grip handles. I like the smaller arms. It just felt like, um, I just kind of got a pain, you know, through my hand right here. And it just, it started getting kind of painful, to be honest with you, um, you know, rolling out all day. I know that may sound ridiculous, but I've honestly never used a mower before where my hands hurt um, or started kind of feeling um, uncomfortable um, with a sit down mower. This is like the first time. Um, so maybe I just see bigger hands. <laughs> I don't know. But that was a thing for me. Um, other thing, the seat. So the seat, I am a, um, actually, I think that is the, the worst part of this mower is the seat. I know it comes with different options. I get all that. This is the comfort glide. This is probably, I don't know where this is at as far as the level of, you know, seats that you can order, but that has nothing to do with what this seat itself is. So if you do buy this mower, I would recommend you finding out, um, you know, the upgrade. You can upgrade the seat. I would upgrade the seat. I have a lot of back issues and uh, nerve issues in my back and my leg, and this left me in so much pain. I, there were um, any, but the couple times that I used this thing to mow, I had massive pain down the back of my leg for about two days. Um, it was really uncomfortable to sit on a couch. It just caused me a lot of pain. Um, I do not recommend that seat. If you have back issues, there are people that probably have this seat that love it and it never gives them any issues, and that is awesome. Of course, you guys know that when we talk about any piece of equipment, this pertains to just my personal ergonomic, you know, uh, reaction to it. So for me, this seat um, is horrific. If I bought this mower, the first thing that would happen is that seat would come off. The seat would go. Seat is not that great. Uh, but I know they make amazing seats. And I hear a lot of guys talk about how comfortable John Deere's are, some of the most comfortable machines that they have. Now, uh, like I said, with that kind of stubby nose, like uh, front end, which I love, it's a 60 inch mower. Look how short it is from the seat to the front of the mower. That's great. Um, so that upright feeling, looking over something like you're in a lifted truck is cool. Put a really comfortable seat on here and you have an awesome combination. Um, so another thing I don't like about um, a lot of John Deere's are the bolted on front ends over time, it's just fatigue, creaking, and you have a part that is bolted on. Um, I like the solid three frames. I think um, longevity, they're better. But I know that there are people that have, you know, I've had mowers that have had bolts on front ends and, you know, 5,000 hours is the longest I've ever had and never had a problem with the front end whatsoever. So I don't really think that's a big deal. Um, I just like to see the solid frames. Um, you know with that but and here's another thing so when it comes to adapters and putting things on here 
I don't like this. I don't like how this fork comes out and pitches out, you know, like 45 degrees. I, and then this one comes straight. Um, I, I don't like that at all. I don't get the point of that. I don't understand it. But there were some attachments I, I was thinking about putting on here, like uh, the U-mount, um, all that. There's like a cross member that goes across, but it just wouldn't even, could it, you couldn't even get that to work on here. It's got this roll pan that comes down right there, um, that roll pan that comes down right here on each side. It kind of leaves you no room to put any attachments going across the forks, um, which I, I would prefer the availability to do that. But I, again, that's not make or break when it comes to buy a mower. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Um, the front casters were a little skinny for my liking on a 60 inch mower, something that this, this heavy, I definitely prefer a bigger, fatter caster on here. Um, but again, that's just, you know, to each his own. Um, I'm gonna get to the final thing, guys, and, and I'm and I'm gonna need your uh, I'm gonna need your help on this one. Okay, let me see. Let me get down in here. All right, let me get down in here. All right, guys. So here is a problem that I have. In 13 years, all the mowers that I have ever used, I have never seen this happen before. And I've hit some tree stumps. I've hit some pretty nasty things. I have bent blades. I have I have caused some damage on mowers, like a lot of us have by pure accident. I was mowing the last property I used this on. I ran over, uh, partially ran over a, what looked to be like a two and a half pound rubber dumbbell. I heard it as soon as I saw it and it caught it, it was like, ba boom, right? And I was like, oh crap, shut everything off. It ended up, um, it ended up breaking the spindle. Uh, it, it didn't bend the blade, but it ended up breaking the spindle. And I'm honestly disappointed in that. I'm not sure how that i'm just not sh like that bolt when i took it out to change the blades on it um to return it um you know i could have sharpened them i just put brand new blades on it as a courtesy i couldn't even get that bolt to back out that easy it was like it was stripped the bolt coming out and i cannot get the bolt to go back in and then there is a cover that goes over that and that cover had shards of thick um, pieces of steel inside of it let me show you real quick All right, so this is a cup housing that goes, the blades go underneath this, this goes up around that housing, around the, um, the spindle. Well, this is like a, this is some sort of steel coupling that I guess goes inside of this and it's shattered in pieces. And that bolt, um, like I said, will not go back up in here. And then this was shattered inside. It came out when I took the bolt off. Um, and you know, I don't wanna speak out of like, I don't wanna speak badly because I hit something. You know what I'm saying? I understand that I hit something, right? I've I've hit a lot of things over the years, like I said. Um, let me hop on here and take a seat, y'all. So I've hit a lot of things over the years. And I'm just gonna tell you, I've never seen anything break. And to me, it feels like this broke easily. I have to buy a spindle for this thing. And I've demoed a lot of stuff. I've hit stuff. You know, we y'all understand what I'm saying. You know, over the years, man, there's there's a lot of um there's a lot of stuff that that we have smashed our mowers into or accidentally ran over and i'm just gonna say i had i thought i had a bent blade on there so i went and bought blades i was gonna do it anyway but i went and bought blades put it on there as i'm taking that off i realized the problem and it and it broke the spindle and i am honestly shocked that it broke the spindle i i am so i would like for you guys to leave some comments down below i want to find out what these spindles are made of on this particular mower because, dude, I have hit, oh my God, I have slammed into some curbs. I have slammed into some tree roots. I have, <clears throat> I have hit, um, uh, man, I have just hit so many things over the years that I'm just like, oh my God, I just broke the mower and it just messed up the blade or it bent maybe the mulch kit housing or something. And that's what originally what I thought the mulch kit housing was bent. It was like, Rrr! it was like so bad. Well, it turns out it's the spindle and the spindle's broken. I am gonna tell you I'm, I'm surprised that it broke the spindle. It's clearly operator error. And in this situation, I'm gonna have to say, I'm not blaming John Deere for the spindle breaking. I'm just surprised that the spindle is broken from that, considering things much stronger, crazier, harder impacts over the years with different machines I've never seen. 
I literally have only replaced one spindle in my entire life on a mower, and that's because it was so old I replaced it. But um, I'm just surprised. But like I said, so overall, John Deere makes, you know, they, they make a, a good machine. There's different variations and versions of it. Um, this particular unit is what I'm looking at. My first dance with it. Um, I, this is not, like I said, a full review. I haven't had it long enough. I don't know how this thing holds up. I don't know how the transmission holds up. I don't know how any of that stuff holds up. Um, but I can tell you based on the ergonomics, the seat and a couple of issues, um, I could see where the mower may not be for us, but I can see where, you know, people are just fatuated with John Deere mowers. There's a lot of really cool things about it. Um, but I'm just, I'm not gonna tell you that everything is like great and awesome and fancy on every mower. There's something I don't like on every, my favorite stand on mower is a pro stance. There's a couple of things I don't like on it. Um, you know what I'm saying? But it's got a lot of strong points. So this has a lot of strong points to it. Um, but the things that I don't like about it is why I wouldn't purchase it for myself, but you know, see why y'all do. I think my biggest gripe right now is is I'm being, I'm surprised, like I said, I'm surprised that that spindle's broken. Uh, I am. I didn't realize it was broken until today and I'm kind of aggravated. At myself, it was an accident, grass was tall. It's like, as soon as I saw that yellow little tiny weight, and I mean, the thing is only about that big around, you know, it's just, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, it could have just been the velocity of the blades, the power, you know, that engine's pushing through. Just, you know, there's so many, there's so, much physics that goes into that moment of impact that you can't just blame it on the mower, you know, blame it on the operator. I shouldn't have hit it in the first place. But in the event of an impact like that, um, I would definitely be scared to ever hit anything with this. I would be scared that um, a pulley is broken from hitting anything. And it could just be a, you know, it could be a weak pulley that came out of manufacturing or it could just be the way the pulleys are on here. Um, I don't know. But that is what it is, y'all. So anyways, I want to thank them for letting me demo it. Um, I did enjoy it. Um, the thing, it's fast and it mows, man. That's the thing. The deck, I didn't even talk about that. The deck on this thing, that 7 iron 2 deck is, dude, this deck is phenomenal. I will have to say that if you don't buy this mower for anything else, buy it for the cut quality. Because the cut quality on this is amazing. It's got a phenomenal cut quality. I'm going to end it on that note. The decks, the deck on this thing, quality. You put that Kohler engine with this seven iron deck, you have a nasty cutting machine. It really does mow excellent. Just don't hit any dumbbells. All right, y'all, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, to the next one. Oh, y'all wait until we see what we, oh man, just wait. The next thing that we're gonna be demoing is a, the brand new Bush Hog 60 inch mower with a 38 horsepower Kohler EFI on it. I'm excited. The Lawn and Landscape Society event, they brought one out. That's the unit we're gonna be demoing. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that one, y'all. Peace out.